Today, Rog and myself have 100k GP and must obtain our gear from shops. We can buy raw skilling materials such as ore to make bars and then gear, and we can pick up spawns. We can also sell to shops if we want to make some more money. We'll both be assigned four random locations where we can spend 15 minutes in each. Then we fight. Yikes. You think my knees are crusty? Bang. End it. Thank you, boy. End them all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bs and Gs of super satisfied. satisfied. All right, guys, let's fire into it and see what our first location is going to be. Come on. Something solid. Something solid. Ooh, Asgarnia. Okay. That's a big area. It's a big area. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see our very first location and spin the wheel. I don't even know what I really want. Uh, ooh, ooh, uh, hmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't want that as a first one. I'm thinking, I mean, because it's so... I guess Mostly Harmless is in that, too. I could go with runes, but the problem with that is I only have 100k, and the runes there are expensive. They are very expensive. Mostly Harmless, we do have some melee stuff. Pest control. What can I buy from pest control? I can buy food from pest control, can I? We are going to be going for 40 casts of barrage. So I'm going to do this kind of slowly because we do have the time. Let's get a water staff as well. Yes, we are going for barrage. I'm going to do some hopping so I can get them cheaper. We only have 100k here. But I do want to go magic because I think range isn't a very strong option in this challenge. And having freezes is just really crucial to, of course, you know, making it so he can attack me back. Unless he has magic as well. I just spent 66% of my total cash stack on 40 barrage casts. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Le Actually, it's really just between... Now we want the hat. And then all of this. We're getting all of it. And oh my god, let's just buy tools and stuff too. Um, really cheap. And we might need it for something. I don't know. Again, I don't know my next location. But that is looking really good. Really good cheap magic gear. And, um, oh, it does give some melee defense. It's not good. I thought it was just magic. If he goes ranged, I guess I could always just take it off. But if he goes ranged, that, that would be a little bit of a problem. Let's hit up the general store as well and just buy tools and stuff because we might need them. Oh, God, this is a mess in here. Okay, chisel, hammer, tinderbox, literally just everything. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. So we also have Mossley Harmless with this location. Now, that's the best mage gear I could pretty much get. Again, Lunars, you technically can buy on the island, but it is ridiculously expensive to the point where unless I was able to make like 300k, that's kind of off limits. And even then, I feel like I would rather just buy more runes and focus more on gear. And as far as pest control is concerned, that's kind of a big write-off. All you get is like the magic shop and the general store, which actually does have field rations with the heal 10, but they're 390 GP each. But over at Mosse Harmless, there is a fishing store that sells raw swordfish for I think 80 GP each. Guys, it only sells one swordfish per world. I thought it was two. I mean, we'll have enough time, but it's just a bit nerve wracking. I don't think there's any place to actually even cook it on here. There might be a range over in pest control, but there's no way in hell I can get there quick enough. So um, we'll we'll just have to take the raw food or oh, the pathing here sucks. We'll just have to take the raw food to the next location. That's not a big deal. If I go three more locations without any way to cook this swordfish, then that there's just something fundamentally wrong with this challenge or I am the most unluckiest guy in the world. Also, I did talk to Bill Teach to get the Book of Piracy to even trade this guy in the first place. And since this whole challenge is based on trading people, I figured that was allowed and okay. 26, that's enough because of course we're gonna have to have runes anyway. So we're gonna stop there. Um, let's see, there actually might be, I can't, there's no way I can get here really quick. There's no like quick telly that I could do with this challenge, but there is a cooking range there. There's zero chance I can get there and cook a full inventory of food. There is three minutes left on the clock still. I did pause it because we're going to end it here. There isn't anything else I can do, at least with the money that I have or that I want to do. Again, I can't cook my food in that time. So um, let's spin the wheel. We removed the last location. Let's see what we get next. Oh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing with um, 26K on me. Hmm... Let's go take a look.
Bs and Gs, I bet you haven't purchased a Father's Day gift yet. Not to fear, the leaders in the below the waist grooming are here. And I'm talking about our friends at Manscaped. They're saving the day yet again with the total package for the father figure in your life. It's time to upgrade his game from waist to face with this exclusive offer. Have him join 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get 20% off plus free shipping with the code LINK20 at manscaped.com. The best way to help him out is to get the Performance Package 4.0. Inside this package, he'll find the Essential Lawnmower 4.0 and tons of liquid formulations to round out his grooming routine. Honestly, the Lawnmower 4.0 is a game changer in sensitive areas. No one likes nose hairs, so the package also comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. And the package also comes with some Manscaped boxers, which are super comfy and anti-chafing. So to get 20% off plus free shipping, use the code LINK20 at manscaped.com. Right, guys, we've got Asgarnia, so obviously we're going to be using the Warriors Guild for the, uh, the food, the pots. But I'm going to be using Anton first before we get into the food and pots. Uh, let's start our timer, and we're going to trade with him. He does sell an Addy sword, which I am going to grab. Boom. There we go. Uh, just straight up, because I don't know if I'm going to get a better weapon than that in my next few locations. So I am going to go ahead and do that. Addy sword we have now. Let's grab ourselves some pots from Lily. Um, I probably will just go for the three doses. I probably won't waste the money buying more. I think the defense pot is actually a little bit expensive. Let's grab ourselves a full inventory of potato and cheese. Lovely. There we go. Everything we need food-wise sorted. Uh, I got potions. I got food. And I got the Addy sword. Cool. We are now going to move on over to a few things in Burthorpe. Bloody hell. This, this time it doesn't feel like enough. For these big locations, it doesn't feel like enough, I'm telling you that. Um, we've got to go hit the general store up so we can get ourselves some like tools and stuff. Because I want to be able to process some stuff in the next location. I don't think we're really going to be able to do much right now. But a hammer, a knife, uh, that will probably do. I'm not going to need any shears, am I? Yeah, that will probably be okay for now. And then we're also going to hit up the uh, Turiel Master here. And grab ourselves some insulated boots. Oh, I think boots of stone are actually better than insulated boots, but oh well, fuck it. Uh, there's just a little bit of a you know bonus in those stats for those two things. Do I want to hit the Heroes Guild up for any reason? Fuck, I could get a Dragon Mace. I didn't even think about that. It's 50k though. It's 50k and it always lets me down. No, I have to do it, don't I? I have to. Because I know you guys will be so angry with me if I don't get anything better than a Dragon Mace. And then I don't buy it. Oh, man, I hate I hate buying this thing. I hate buying it. Ugh. We have it, though. I, I'm, so, I'm so in two minds. Like, at least we have a Dragon Weapon, but at the same time, it's, it is that. And I've just destroyed my cash there. Absolutely destroyed it. Then we're going to talk to Sir Tiffy Cashin. Um, I don't really want the com orb, mate, but, um, do you have any... I want to I wanna buy. Can I buy some armor? There we go. Right, we want the proselyte male, and that's going to give us a helm. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Thank God. I, as soon as I bought that, I thought, fuck, do I need to be at the GE to open this? Thankfully not. Um, let's drop the comob, oh, whatever. Um, Proselyte Salad, which is an Addy helm, Addy legs, Addy plate body, but they give all that prayer bonus as well. Our prayer bonus is currently 23 in this, which is insane. So, so helpful. Um, I'm probably going to grab out that Addy sword and sell it to a shop. I think we go down to Remington now and we buy some of the tools because we've got the, uh, we've got the Remington shop down there. That's probably the next best thing to do and then I need to work out exactly how I'm going to manage this money from now on we've only got 21k I've spent 80k nearly in the first of four locations I don't know maybe I went a bit fucking far here I don't know hopefully in the next locations we get some way of making money and then I can like recoup a little bit I'll grab an amulet mold necklace mold ring mold that will probably do I didn't really need the necklace mold, did I? Like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be making necklaces, am I, idiot? Uh, bracelet. I, I just, 
fuck it. How much are they? They're like cheap, aren't they? Yeah, whatever. Fine. We have a bracelet mold. Great. Um, needle and thread, definitely, just in case. Um, we'll buy like five thread. Chisel, we've already got. Okay, that should be good for there. I think I'm going to go back to Falador, actually, guys, and just hit up Cassie's shield shop. I don't think she has great shields, but we might as well grab something. Um, I don't think there's really any way of me getting a cape here. I guess I can kill a highway. I can't kill things. I can't kill things. Yeah, I don't think there's really a cape I can get. So, um, yeah, it might just be back to Cassie's shield shop now. Yeah, unfortunately, just an iron square is what we're getting from Cassie, but that's fine. We will take it. I've come up with a moneymaker as well for the last five minutes while I'm in Asgarnia. We're going to help Herquin, um, and we're going to buy sapphires off him, chisel them, and then sell the cut sapphires back to him. I think it's a, a pretty decent profit. I can't remember exactly, but I've got 200 GP in my head for some reason. It's not huge, but it could make the difference. I might as well spend the last five minutes doing something. Right, so we buy a Sapphire Orphan for 25 coins. Then we do that, and we trade it back to him for 175. Okay, it's not even as good as I thought it was. But yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I can't... I'll try and think of a moneymaker while I do this, but... I can't actually go and skill. Like, I have to buy the raw material to skill, you know? So it's uh, it's a tough one. Maybe there's an item spawn I can, like, nail or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you and see if we can improve on this. I didn't think of anything else. So, yeah, I was not able to get myself a better money maker than that. I'm going to stop the clock. One second left. Didn't even have time to buy it. 23.5k. Uh, so I, don't, I can't even remember how much I had. I think I had about 21k. I might have made a couple k there. I guess every little helps, B's and G's. Let's go ahead and see where we are off to next. All right. Let's go ahead and spin. What are we going to get? Mistelin. So we got Taranwin. I hope I'm saying that right. The land of the elves is what I'll call it. But more importantly, Priftinus, because that is like the capital city of the elves. That is where everything's going down. And that is, of course, where we are going to be staying during our 15 minutes. Now, it's funny. In, in the last location, I actually made a comment saying range is kind of hard to come by. And then I remembered that there's an archery shop here with the U-bow and um, rune arrows, and you can get a lot of rune arrows with 100k, and might I remind you, I am minus 34 range defense, so a little nervous, but what I mean to trade him, I have to open up my map, but um, I'm a little nervous about that, but we're gonna stick with the magic plan, and it is what it is. My first option that I wanted to do after a little think about it was to actually go in the plate body shop, pick up iron plate bodies, sell them to the general store, and do that just for 15 minutes, so I can hopefully make around 15k. I don't know if that's accurate, but you know, all I can do is estimate, get 40k in total, and then spend that 40k here, or take that 40k into another area. Because of course, I can get a dragon dagger here. Probably not. It's 45k. That's under my estimation. But I can get like a rune full helm, or if I wanted to, I can get an Addy full helm and like Addy plate legs, or just get like a rune scimitar. There's other options. But then I found out something that I think is a little bit more OP, and it let, let, let's just say it completely negates my raw swordfish. I won't even say what I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy a few things, and I'll let you guys piece together what you think I'm going to be making. So, let's buy this, 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 and this. We're going to empty the milk. We're going to come over here to the well... Now, my inventory management kind of sucks, and, you know, we, we will do this a little better. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, pizzas. That should make a pizza. Actually, in all honesty, this isn't the worst inventory management, because as I make more, inventory spaces will open up. So, that on there. And yeah, we can cook pizzas. Absolutely no problem. But it doesn't end there. Alright, this should be the last bit of my 26 pizzas. But... We need a knife, and we did not have a knife in the last general store, so I'm really hoping that there's a knife in the one I'm about to go to right now, because if there isn't, then we might have a little problem on our hands. And the moment of truth, it's Prif. Of course there's a knife in Prif. And now if we come in this building a little westward of where we just were, you may notice a pineapple on the table. And we can cut said pineapple into rings. And we can take that ring and throw it right on the pizza and also the other 24 pieces 
that we have in the bank. And we're coming up on the last 12. Now, this actually heals 22. There's a little bit of a really annoying delay when you eat it, but I figure 22 with a delay is a lot better than 14 with just a normal delay. And you want to see something crazy? Look at how many pineapple pizzas I have in the bank. I uh, don't ask why I have that much. Don't ask why. But anyways, I'm going to pick up some iron plate bodies to round off this minute 26. Uh, not going to get much, but I figure it's better than just standing around doing nothing. But that is pineapple pizzas for the fight. Okay, this will probably be my last top because there's no way I can get another after this. Yeah, okay, pick it up and we'll pause that. With one second remaining, we do have, what is that, nine plate bodies to sell in the next realm we get thrown into. That does make me think, if I was able to pick up nine in like a minute and a half, maybe I could have gotten like 45k for a dragon dagger. Would that have been better than going for the pineapple pizzas? I don't know. It's very hard to tell in the moment, especially when you have two locations to still go for. Last location taken off the wheel. Let's spin and let's see what we get. <sighs> Oh, okay. I mean, that is, that is big. That is big. That is not a small area. Gonna have to think about this. Okay, guys, we are kicking off with uh, Oziak here. Let's start the timer. We're gonna grab ourselves a slightly upgraded shield of the anti-dragonfire shield, which, yeah, does give a bit. It also uh, gives us plus six magic bonus. Wow, attack. Is that just because this gives negative? Right, okay, that's why. I was about to say, what? How did I not know that? Um, and then we are going to get ourselves um, to the sword shop because we actually have an Addy sword shop in uh, Varrock, so we can sell this off. I don't know if we'll get the same price we paid for it or close, but at least I'll recoup a little bit of that money. I guess I can sell this iron square shield as well to the general store. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan up for Varrock. Unfortunately... The Champions Guild has full rune. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to afford full rune anyway, but I could have got myself a piece of rune or two if I hadn't gone so wild on the uh, on the old cash, unfortunately. So yeah, that's a bit painful. How much are we going to get? 1.2k, so nowhere near what we paid for it, but it's a little bit of a recoup of money. Also, I know some people might think that um, I could get the minecart to Keldegrim. It's actually specifically a Relica area, if you look on the wiki. It says uh, Keldegrim's part of Relica. So in our, like, on the wheel spinner, we do have Relica on there, um, and you get Keldegrim with that. So that's the reason why I'm not venturing into Keldegrim as much as I'd love to, because that would be a great place to make some money. Right, Diango. Can I please have that bad boy? I'd love to turn up with those. I wish you could equip them, but obviously that would be a bit fucked up for uh, people pretending to risk stuff in PvP. But just so I could equip them in the reveal and Kins thought I got some fucking D claws somehow. I don't know. That, I, I need that in my life. Now, obviously, I'm not going to make the rookie mistake of not buying gloves. Uh, we're going to go for rune gloves. 6.5k. Unfortunately, dragons are like 130k. Same with, obviously, uh, Barrow's Gloves as well. So, Rune Gloves it is for 6k. Lovely. We are starting to look pretty naughty. I'm not going to lie, guys. I think I've done pretty well so far. We've still got two locations as well. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Um, buy items. Is there any way I can make some money in here? So, how much is a pizza base? Five coins... Five coins, five... It's going to cost me 15 coins just to make a pizza. Um, egg is five. Is everything just five coins? Yeah. Cake's off the lim off limits as well. What about chocolate cake? High out 42. Yeah, I'm going to have to scrap that, unfortunately, guys. Um, oh, this is so hard. Because we're just sort of in the free-to-play area with this. I don't really have any way of making some serious cash at all. I could try and do some wise old man tasks. Let's see. Maybe he gives me something that I can do and he can reward you like up to 1.5k or something for doing these like weird sort of... He tells you to get an item and give it to someone. I don't know if you guys have ever done wise old man tasks. You probably haven't because they're a very weird thing, but I'll give it a go and see if he gives us something we can do. All right, so we talk to the wise old man and say... Boom. Is there anything I can do for you? Father Lawrence in Varrock is drinking a bit too much. I'd get a letter to him about it. Here, here's a letter. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not going to get to Varrock and back in four minutes, am I? Fuck's sake. <laughs> 
Oh. After the PvP ends, guys, I'll put a little snippet at the end of the video. And we'll see what reward I would have got. Because there's no way I'm doing this. But I am going to do it outside of the challenge so that we can find out. Because it will kill me. It will kill me. Father Lawrence, here you go, mate. You got a little letter coming your way. Talk to him, maybe. Uh, there we go. Oh, he gave me prayer eggs. What? 200 pra prayer What? I was not expecting that. Incredible. Okay, our third spin. Where are we going to go? Ooh, great Karend. Okay. All right. That, that could prove to help us in some ways. So here we are, awkwardly standing in just a random part in the Felt of Hills. We did get Kandarin, and Kandarin is huge. There is a ton of shops that we can use in Kandarin, but there's only one that I really care about. I still want to get that Dragon Dagger. But we have good news and we have bad news. The good news is that um, we can get a Dragon Dagger from the Myths Guild for 30k and it's cheaper than it was in Priftinus. The bad news is that we don't have 30k. Since we're allowed to pick up items, I am here in what I think is the best spawn in terms of GP value that I can get from selling it to a shop in Kandarin. I can think of one better, it is here, but you have to thieve to get that black scimitar, which makes it not possible to get as per the rules of this challenge. So aside from that, this is the second best, and the only one that I can think of that is decent and could get me the 30k. But there is also another catch, there is wolves and ogres. And bears, oh my. So we're gonna try to finesse our way through this and really make this work. If this backfires, this could be bad. So, oh my God, it turns out when I'm actually on the spawn, I could pick it up and hop real quick and they don't attack me. I'm sure they still can if they're in the perfect position, but this is like my fourth hop now, fifth hop. And it looks like I can do it just as fast as any other spawn, at least for the most part. I'm sure I will get caught but will I? Okay, don't get too cocky. Okay, okay. I got cocky. I got cocky, and it backfired. So we only have 40, which isn't too much, but we still have those nine iron plate bodies. We're actually teleporting to the rat pits in Artie. So we're right next to the general store in West Artie that you could sell for just shy of high alc value. I was originally going to sell this to Yanil to get the full high alc value of what you would normally get from runes when you sell them to a rune shop, but then I'd miss out on like an extra 1k or just shy of 1k that I'd get from these iron plate bodies. So I'd figure I could probably make more money and do it quicker because then I can hit this tree and go right back down to Feldip Hills right to the uh, dagger shop or the weapon shop to get the dagger. So this is, this just leaves me plenty of time. I am extremely happy to announce that I'll even have 2k left over at the end of this current trip. Okay, it's not super close, but that still is a little too close for comfort. A minute left. Things could easily have gone south. Uh, I definitely can't get that right. Yeah, that's 50k. The dragon dagger it is. I know we have a minute left, but um, there isn't anything I can do. I mean, yep, yeah, that's off limits. This cape is, what, like 10k? I mean, I know it's not 2k. I can tell you that. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna call it there. Let's see our next location. Candor is now off the wheel. Let's spin it and let's see the last location we have with 2k. Great current with 2000 GP. All right, 15 minutes in a great current. And the first thing we're gonna do is upgrade our food. Uh, oh, oh, no, that's fine. I can cook them. Absolutely fine. Fuck me. I was about to lose my shit. So we'll go ahead, cook all these sharks, and then I'm going to try and do stealing artifacts, which is also here in the port. Uh, I've never done it before, but apparently you can steal artifacts and you get money as a reward. You have to, like, steal stuff from people's houses in here, and then you bring the artifact you steal back to the guy. So I'm going to give it a go and see if we can make some money that way. Because honestly, guys, I don't think there's much for me here in Great Karend. Well, technically, there is, but not with 13k. 
And I'd rather go into my last location with as much money as possible. Um, so we're going to give this a go, see what happens. Failing that, there's two gem stools in the center of Great Karend. And I could do the method with turning those into cut sapphires. Um, and just, you know, do both stools at once, which will make it a bit quicker. So we'll see. But to be honest, by the time I've cooked all of these, tried to do a couple of artifacts, it's probably going to be too late to give that a go. So... Yeah, we will see what happens. Boom, that's the sharks done. Um, we're obviously going to bring three pots to the fight, so that's all the sharks I need, which is perfect. Okay, so we talked to Captain Khalid, looking for any help, I think. Yeah, looks like you might be able to help me out. I think I've got a job for you. I have what it takes. We'll see. If you can get the job done, I'll make sure. Okay, you need to recover an artifact for me. Found in the southern house in the residential district. Over on the west side of the city. Picklock draws. You have no reason to do that. Oh, fuck's sake. Is this the wrong house? Oh, I'm about to just say fuck it and do the gems. Because I don't know what the hell's going on here. Maybe this one. I'll try this one and that one. And if they're not in there, then we're going to go do the gems. Because I need to uh, I need to make money. Picklock draws. You have no reason to do that. Brilliant. We can pick lock drawers there as well. You have no reason to do that. Right, yeah. We're, we're doing the gems. We're doing the gems. I'm, I'm not even going to waste my time on this. I have no idea. He said western... The, the, the western part southern or something. I can't remember. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I need to just... I need to get off here. No, I need to go there. Oh, my. Everything's going wrong. Everything's going wrong. Oh, I want to buy another chisel. I don't have it in this general store. I'm going to have to waste time going up the top of Krend Castle to get my chisel out. <sighs> Is there another Jenny on the way? No. Unreal scenes. Right, get the chisel out. Boom. There we go. I don't even know how much faster this is going to be than it was in Falador. Because... I have to run from there to there. Can I buy from that gem store? Is there a guy to buy from? Oh my god, there's not even a guy to buy. They does it. <laughs> I fucking give up. I fucking give up, man. For fuck's sake. I don't know what to do. There's no one there. Oh, it, it, it hurts. It hurts, B's and G's. I, I don't know what to do. Six minutes. Can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sure there is something to do that will make money. Maybe I can just loot. I, I know there's... A, uh, right, we're going to Shazian for now while I think about it. I'm pretty sure there's like a weapon spawn here that I could just sort of pick up and sell. Uh, but off the top of my head, I have no idea how to make money with no resources, no skilling, or at least no uh, getting the raw. I need, I, need, I need to get raw materials from somewhere. And I don't know where to buy raw materials from. Uh, there we go. I'm Warhammer. 103 Alk. Where are you? Where are you, Iron Warhammer? There we are. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 100 GP a world for now while I think. I mean, I've only got five minutes, so things aren't great. Why is there a QR code on the floor there? Is that new? That's a fucking QR code, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm whipping the phone out, B's and G's. I'm whipping the phone out. Let's see what the fuck this is. Okay, it's, it's not it's not scanning. <laughs> Maybe it's not a QR. I don't know. That. Look, that is a fucking QR in some way, though, isn't it? It's probably part of one of the crack the clues or some crap. Right, guys, I googled it. It's part of an Easter egg. There's four of them in Shazian. And if you put all of them together, it makes a QR code. And it redirects you to a Rick Rolled YouTube video. So there you go. I never knew that. You, but you guys probably did. But yeah. There's a bit of cheeky trivia for you. Anyway, I'm picking up Iron Warhammers. We've got a few here. Um, and I'm just going to have to sell them in my next location. Okay, that is time up. Let's spin the wheel and see where my last location is going to be. Fremi plus Kelgrim. Okay, all right, all right. Bit of a shame I got that one last, because it's a pretty good way of making money down there. But I'll see if I can do anything that's going to help me out. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I think we can probably sell these Iron Warhammers to maybe a shop that stocks Iron Warhammers, which would be pretty cool. 
you would assume that a place like the Great Current, as big as it is, would have awesome spawns and or shops to buy from that could really help me in the fight, but truth be told, there really isn't much. Osidious, there's nothing for me. Shazy, and there's actually a few shops that would be useful if this was, you know, a challenge with a lot less money than 100k start, because there's, there's the rain shop, there's, um, there's a chainmail shop, and I think there's a weapon shop. Yep, a sword shop right there. Um, it comes to Arceus, does sell runes. Runes are actually extremely expensive. I think bloods are like 560 each, because that was actually my original plan. Try to make money and then just buy more runes for the fight. But the bloods are 560, ridiculous. Even with this 2k, it would be an extra like two casts. Not even, honestly, maybe a cast and a half. So not worth doing that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just seems really dead. So I'm going to do the obvious solution. I mean, I think this is the only thing Current is really good for is in fact buying sharks here now i do i do have the pineapple pizzas they are 22 but they are two eats and they do have that gnarly delay so i might actually just bring what is it how did i get here 11 i might just bring the 11 sharks with me minus whatever i burn and fill up the rest of pineapple pizzas the dragon dagger runes and call it a PvP challenge because I really am struggling to figure out what to do here. So let's hope we don't burn anything. And with that, guys, we are going to call the challenge after I cook this last shark. Oh, you'd love to see it. Guys, that is going to be it for me. Let's get our gear together and let's see what we're rocking. Alrighty-o, guys. I feel like I've been talking about my plan this whole time. So you guys know exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using magic, keep him at a distance, maybe walk underneath him to eat if he's ranging me or something. But if he's not, it's just going to be freeze. Just use all my casts. Maybe throw in the cheeky spec or something here. Or if he's eating, maybe I use the dragon dagger to then save spells so I can freeze him for longer. So I'm not just chucking spells out. But of course, I have no idea what he's done. So it just entirely depends on that as well. Like if he's ranging, that plan kind of goes out the window, doesn't it? So... Woo. Let's see what Link did, and I'll see you guys in the fight. All right, guys, 15 minutes on the clock. Let's start trade with this guy, and to be honest, I'm just going to sell 10 and see how much he buys them for now. F fuck it, I'm getting rid of him. I'm getting rid of him. Uh, that takes us that. My goal is to get a Berserker Helm, or a Warrior Helm. I can't remember Berserker, probably. That That's the goal, guys. And I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but my plan is to buy ores from the blast furnace, use the blast furnace, make myth plate bodies, sell the myth plate bodies to Caldergrim, and try and make enough for the helm. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to give it a go. I'll tell you that. Guess I could have used the blast furnace teleport. Probably should have done that, but oh well, we got here. Okay, so we trade with him. We'll buy like 10 myth, and then I'll need 20 coal. 10... Uh, I'm going to have to do another trip anyway, so yeah, we'll just do this for now. And then another 10 coal. Right, that's everything I need for 10 bars. We'll just start with that and see how this goes. Right, so in another video, you guys said we can put the ore on here and then literally just hop to a blast furnace world and it will just let us do it. Like, it will just it will just roll in. I'm hoping this works. I mean, the hopping time alone is, is slow, but we'll see. Uh, I guess I have five bars in there. I, the coffer is running. I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had money in the coffer, guys. Um, you can just take your bars like that. I'm going to let this run down. All right, I've let it run down to zero now. We'll go back. I, I think this works anyway, whether you've got money in the coffer or not. But uh, I want to absolutely make sure. That's five bars right there. Like, super easily. Oh, I've topped to another fucking blast furnace world. And we definitely have no fucking hop to bounty world. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm wasting so much time. <laughs> There's no money in the coffer. Let's see if this works. <laughs> it does. Even with no money in the coffer. Incredible. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's try and buy off this guy again. So let's get 10. Let's buy 20 myth. 20 myth, and then we'll need 40 coal. Okay, we now have all of our... Bars. I've got four more in the inventory. Or in the bank, sorry. And these sell for like... Uh, how much do they sell for? I think we sell them right to this guy, to be honest. Or one of these guys around here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we sell it down here. So it's this guy here we trade. 
Are you fucking with me? Re like, really? Really? Let's go to 2K World. Oh my god, nothing's gone right. Nothing's gone right, guys. I needed this... I needed this location to be one of my first three, not the last one. Because I'm chasing, I'm tra chasing dreams here. 3K, three K, uh, three. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna make enough for what I need. We're not gonna make enough for what I need. So now it's a case of is there something else I can buy that is gonna help me out? 20K back, which is huge, so helpful. I am actually gonna grab out all my gear so I can just visually look at what I need to upgrade. Right, I mean, first off the bat, I might as well make a Myths Kite Shield. Might as well. Bro, that's so rookie. It's three bars. It's three bars, not two. Oh, my God. I mean, Cole's completely gone in this world. I've got to hop anyway, so that's not too much of a problem. This room has caused me so much stress. This might be the most stressful room I've had in RuneScape, honestly. The amount of PvP challenges where this room has just fucked me off in some way... Oh, don't get me started on the coke over there, honestly. That that bad boy. Am I going to need to refill the... Uh... No, I'm not. Grab. Sick. Make our kite shield and happy days. Two minutes left. I don't think there's anything that I'm going to be able to do. I'm just going to run around the city and just see, but I can't really see much helping me out here, to be honest. But we do get the, the kite shield upgrade, which is nice. I know that sword shop over there has a rune long sword in it. We can't afford it, nor do I want it. Uh, yeah, no better shields either. I think that's going to be it, guys. 30 seconds left. I don't think I can do anything else, to be honest. Which, you know, again, as I say, I think we've done fairly well. So it's okay. But 20k at the end, when I could have really used that in other locations, that's what's, that's what's annoying me here. That's the setup, B's and G's. It's not horrendous. If he goes magic, we're in a bit of trouble. But then again, like, are we? Because we can always, you know, take our stuff off. And we've got a fairly good weapon to, like, bash straight through robes. Um, good food. Very, very happy with the food. we got the pots as well, which is nice. Um, fairly decent against range. I guess if he goes crush, that would be the best case scenario for him. Uh, we're going crush. We'll see what happens. B's and G's. Solid prayer bonus of 23 as well. So we should be able to keep on uh, piety for, for pretty much the whole fight. Um, with a little bit of flicking here and there, which is great. Um, yeah, let's go into this and see how I've done. Kiddos. My man, what are we doing? Yeah, not bad. Not bad, mate. How did that go for you? I, I Interesting. Yeah? I was doing stuff. Doing stuff I didn't think I'd be doing, that's for sure. Oh, wow. But, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean... I, I think my best region, no, I shouldn't say my best. I should say in my first region, there is kind of one obvious play. And right. I feel like that led me down a path. And then I just stuck with that path the entire time. And then my, just tried yeah, to like fine tune it. Yeah, mine was quite similar it. to that. Mine was quite similar to that. The path I got given was a certain combat style in the first one. And mm -hmm. I was like, I have, to, I have to go with this now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah, which um, is a bit annoying in many ways because then you get like a really good yeah. one. It's like I already spent most of my money and yeah. would this have been better? But obviously there's zero chance of knowing kind I, of what you would have gotten. I so. spent like 80k in my first region. <laughs> oh my god, I spent like 75k wow, or not okay. 70k, something like that. Yeah, it was um, a lot. And the only it region I could make any good money I got was the last one. I was fuming, bro. Fuming. Oh, dude, I did some very <laughs> shitty money makers. Uh, okay. <laughs> I did some very uh, shitty money makers to do. <laughs> right, well, uh, chuck an item on, mate, and we'll uh, we'll see where we're going. I'll go for Helm. it. Oh. oh. <laughs> he knows where I've been. <laughs> Oh no! 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 This is bad! This is bad! Oh, okay. oh no! I like the look of this! Let's go, Cape! 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 Oh, I think he's got an no. idea! <laughs> <laughs> he's got the carriage cape! Let's go, legs! Oh no, 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 oh, no, no, oh, no! This is such a good sight! This is horrible. This, this is, horrible. is such Body. a good Body. sight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I was so, I thought I was so fucking G with my prayer bonus, dude. Oh, oh god. I mean, you are. Mm. I, 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 I won't take that away from you. I won't take that away from sake. you. Okay. Boots. 
I got some insulated boys. Which I think Boots of Stone are actually better, but I just got it wrong. But okay. Alright. Uh yeah, yeah. I guess where you, where you went. <laughs> <laughs> Master Harmless. <Yeah. laughs> uh shit me. I'm so in trouble here. It's actually not funny. Let's go shield, mate. I don't have one. Oh, it only hurts oh me. this just keeps, <laughs> <and better. laughs> just keeps getting better and better. It just keeps getting better and better. Uh, uh gloves. I did. Okay. Didn't I get mean that, that is pretty thankfully, good. Thankfully, that yeah, is pretty yeah, good. Yeah. I fucking wish I had something to put on <laughs> other than Moon Plan, but I don't. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> um, I like, just this got is a the weapon. first region, bro. This is the first region I had. So I was like, ah, oh, like if I don't go magic, yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah, gonna yeah, yell yeah. at me. How much does the set cost? It is fairly pricey, isn't it? Um, I I don't remember off the top of my head, but I would say the whole set is just maybe like four to five k. Oh, though I'll maybe give you the other one. Like, it's the uh, oh lunars is lunar, lunar, that's really, like, yeah, dude. Yeah. I checked because I was thinking like maybe I just buy the body and yeah, say fuck yeah, everything yeah, yeah, else yeah, yeah, or like yeah. a strat like that. The body is a hundred and twenty k. So I was like, okay. Oh my I was like, God. Oh, okay. obviously not. I'm going mm. that. So, okay. Well, uh, dude, I've just got a weapon. I have two weapons. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I, it's probably not that hard to get a staff together in four different regions. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some <laughs> sort of staff here. <laughs> also it... bought in Lunar Isle. Just a normal water staff, right? It's just a normal yeah, staff. Okay. Um, what is his other weapon? Has he got like a dragon dagger mm -hmm. or something fucking dumb like that? Oh, fucking grow what? up, Kins. Oh my god. Oh, it's picking up death uh... runes to afford it. I got, I got Curran and I'm like, no. Oh, sorry. Not, oh, I did get Curran. I meant to say um, Kandarin. Right. I was picking up death runes oh my by god. the fucking. Uh, the what are they the, the wolves and the ogres, yeah, yeah, and I kept having like run behind the tree and then hop pick up another. It's better than me, mate. I resorted to buy it, picking up iron war hammers in one of my regions. So. Oh my god! <laughs> it was your weapon must be pretty nice. Then. If you spend eighty k your first yeah, yeah place, I'll, I'll show you. It's, it's gonna be dragon. It's one we're dragon not happy with. Maze, maybe? It's called it. It's one oh. we're not happy with. Like. <laughs> But I got Heroes Guild, um, oh, and I okay. had to do it. I had to do it, even though I didn't want to. I had a bit of a, you know, argument with myself. But in the end, I was just like, I, I have to. And I, in the end, it was probably the idea. I mean, right, dude, I you don't have a bad setup, though. <sighs> you know, 100k ain't too much. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I yeah, do yeah, only yeah. have 40 casts, which is why I felt like I needed the dagger as well. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, so 40 casts of Barrage, though. Ice Virat. Oh, he's got pots. Yeah. Obviously had Should've seen um, that coming. Warriors Guild mm -hmm. with heroes and all that shit. So uh made sense to grab those. Yep. Um and I'm so not gonna, gonna lie to least have potato with cheese at the very least. <sighs> uh, we were able to upgrade it. We got Sharkingtons. So my last region I had two K left over. Right. Got got current. So Okay. You, 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 you know there's that there. Although a part of me thought you were gonna be like, I got wilderness and I've got all these pots and anglerfish and I love the wildy bro. I, I fucking hate, love I, hate I fucking you for wish. It. Honestly, I hate I you fucking for wish it. I had like ice rage packs and stuff. <laughs> uh... oh. Um but so my second region was actually Prif. And right. I had to make the hard decision. Or is actually Tiran one pronounce no, no, it. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, okay, Prif, the capital city, like obviously I'm gonna be in there. Yeah. Um, so I had two options. Like I either pick up iron plate bodies and sell them right. and just get money and then get the dragon dagger there. Mm. Or I just said, because I did not have sharks this time. As I said, that was the last region I got. Yeah. I made a full inventory through buying from shops and picking up I know what you made. I know what you made because pineapples are in that house. Pieces. There's a pineapple yes, in that house. Yes, yes, yes. And you can buy a but... knife and you can buy, you can buy like all the, all the tomatoes and the cheese <sighs> and the uh, buckets and the flour. So wow. I did have 26 pineapple pizzas, but then I figured there's a massive delay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that's yeah. why I, food. I did. Not yeah. Not ideal food. It is, okay. it is what it is. I didn't know All I was right. going to get Kurt on the last one, or else I would have probably brought, like, a rune full home to a fight to you by picking up, like, you know, like, iron plate bodies. 
But, Seeing the cast you know. and the food makes me happier. Um, if I can get through that, then we could be good. Because I should yeah. destroy you if it comes to a melee versus melee. Okay. Yeah, if it does, hopefully your food's depleted by then. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the goal, at least. All right, kiddos, let's do it. All right, you. let's do it. You get the first hit, so I do have three pots Ooh. to eat. So just uh, yeah. sort of give me give me some give me like All a right. five second warning. Five second warning right now. Ooh, okay. I'll, I'll wait till you're done. And enough. Then <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Two second warning. Good luck. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, that's not ideal. Already splashing. Okay. Nice, not nice, ideal. Nice. 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 And we can get that off. Oh. Oh my god. What? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I've just missed all my specs and you're in robes, so don't even hit me with that. Oh, yes. He's in trouble. He's he's in trouble when he gets close. Dude, what the fuck? Huge. Oh, you got Rick. Rick, mate. go you, away. You have a chat with Rick or... Oh, that's so huge. Oh, uh, yeah. This is going to be a this little is... bit of a problem, I think. Rick, get the fuck away, Rick. Yeah, Rick. My G, Rick. Oh, missed the flick. Whoops. I can't leave my specs just noodled, dude. Like, yeah, all but wasn't... one hit just straight zero zeros. Wasn't great for you. Was not great for you. Okay. I mean, I'm just out DPSing him when it comes to that. It's great. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. I wouldn't say in trouble. <laughs> not yet. Not a yet. A one! A one! Leave me alone! Oh, why am I smiting? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, what the <laughs> I'm, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming. Oh, God. I don't have timers on, so I don't actually know exactly when I'm going to get unfrozen here, guys. It's, it's, not, it's not ideal. Oh, that's huge. Oh, oh yeah, no! Bad. A 19 poke? Are you fucking with me? Oh, that, my God. I, when we do get near him, we rip through him, guys. Oh, I'm at 26. Behave, Kins. Behave. Oh, let's fucking go. Yes! Oh, my God. That's just like sharks gone ski. Oh, I've just overeaten as well. Fuck, idiot. I was good, so good. sure you were going to hit. I was just like, ah, I'll just fucking eat. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. Come on. Nice. Come on. Come on. Stop hitting ones. Stop hitting zeros. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right. We got to... Do this, come on. Oh, dude, hit! Oh, God, splash. Risk it, risk it. Hit. Dude, come on, just get the freeze. Get the freeze. Get the freeze! Oh, my oh, God, no. it's noodled for him. It's noodled. Could have killed me there. Yeah. Come on, just fucking freeze so I could... Oh, no, yep, this is not good. This is bad. This is bad news for Ken's. He's, he's short. No! Oh. <laughs> I don't know how many casts he's got. He can't have too many more. Fucking. Man. Bang. Oh, man. Nice. All right, frozen. Now let's eat. We get eating time as well. We get eating time as well. Oh, man. Yeah, I but you don't have don't, a fucking I, massive delay. I genuinely don't know who's winning right now. Oh, he goes for the fakie. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know who's winning. I'm genuinely confused.
He's got no casts. He's got no casts. He's done. He's done with casts. Come on! <laughs> oh, the booty casts weren't enough. They weren't enough. Oh, I'm buzzing. I am buzzing. Oh, I found it hard to get wins recently, kids. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy that one. <laughs> I'll tell you that. How much food? You can't leave me like that. Three. Okay. Three. Three. And for those of you who stuck around till the end of the video, you are legends. Let's see what we got from the wise old man. Okay, that's a big anticlimax, guys. The 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 reward was the prayer. 